long was this emotional affair? Um, I would say there were probably a couple months where there were conversations. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how, Avatar, how did you find out about this affair? So, in our relationship, we have open communication and transparency. Mm -hmm. so, see, so when it came up, I was like, what is this? You know, I went, I went in. I am a woman who, you know, I wasn't mad at her. I'm mad at you. And I want to know what happened and how did we get here. Um, so, when it came up, we talked about it. And it was hard. It was a really hard and painful place. But I have to say that I'm grateful that it happened and that this was our appointment for growth as a married couple, mm -hmm. because there are some things that you are not going to address. Brokenness, I have brokenness, he has brokenness. But some things won't come up until you are tied to another human. Mm -hmm. You don't have to face yourself with yourself. So when you are married to someone, I don't think anybody goes in looking to hurt right. the other person. Yeah. Right. But I really believe that, that there was a situation that had to happen for us to grow. And so for us to not, to not think it's all roses and rose-colored glasses, mm -hmm. there were some things about my husband that would have never been, he would have never had to face had I not been here and the same for me and him. Like, mm -hmm. But Aventer, I'm, I'm asking, how did you find out about it? Did you see something on his phone? I think it was something that he sent that didn't look right. Oh. So I asked mm -hmm. him about that. I didn't okay. see a message from her. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. And okay. Aventer, have you ever spoken to this woman or did you connect with her at all? Never. Never? No. Do you know what she looks like? I have no clue. I, I have no clue. Does that matter to you at all? Actually, no. Mm -hmm. You know why it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter because I feel like whoever this person is, you know, she knew he was married because mm -hmm. I asked if he, you know, that was a conversation between us. I was like, oh, you know, I think the way this particular situation came up is that when you have history with people, you have people you went to school with and all of that kind of stuff, that there can be, you know, that little edge of so how are you you keep going mm -hmm. it kind of right. keep it keep, kind of keeps continuing so um after he and i dealt with it we've seen counselors we we yeah. talked about it and yeah. we were comfortable standing in front of our congregation just saying hey i was getting ready to leave i didn't say i was getting ready to leave because he talked to someone else and that's how it just got you know blown out of proportion uh, that people were able to layer so it honest Oh, uh, let me say. I'll never regret being honest. I, I'm, we're on the real. But, yeah. So I have to be you know, real with my feelings. Because, like all you said, time. you started your thing saying that. Yeah, we started opening our your church, church with saying that. Because I needed people to know that we came from a broken place, but we are walking through the place of healing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is the counseling is, helping? Absolutely. But here's the thing what I found out is the issues and challenges in my marriage are not eight years old. We've been married eight years. The issues are 41 years old mm. because oh. I'm 45. Yeah. I'll be 46. Got it. And what happened to me on the front lawn of my house when I was abused is where the beginning of my brokenness started. And so I had to go all the way back to my childhood. Yeah. There's a broken little boy in here that doesn't know how to function in intimate places. Wow. And so that fear, that brokenness traveled into my marriage. So you look for safe places. And I went to an unsafe place. But I take responsibility. Thank you, love. Yeah. I take responsibility. I don't believe, you know, people say, well, you're trying to blame the devil. I don't blame the devil. No. I blame me. No. I blame me and I take responsibility. And I think that's what men should do. And thank I think you for that. your honesty. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. you know. thank, yes. you your, thank you both yes. of you for your honesty. There's yeah. so much more to talk about. So don't move about. I got so. questions. We'll be right back with more <laughs> for Pastor John and Alex. <laughs>